Hey there, welcome back to another episode on the At Home Dive YouTube channel. As always, my name is Joey and today we're in the kitchen making something delicious. This time you're in for a real treat. We're gonna make homemade cinnamon rolls. So sit back, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive right in. We're gonna break today's video down into three steps. The dough, the filling, and then the icing. So, to get started on the counter here today, we have one quarter ounce of active dry yeast, we have half a cup of warm water, one quarter cup of sugar, half a cup of milk, one half a cup of softened butter, a half a teaspoon of salt, and we have three and a half cups of AP flour and one egg. So to get started today, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the sugar and add it into the water. And once that's in there, we're gonna go ahead and add in the yeast. We're gonna let this sit aside for about 15 minutes or until it starts to get nice and foamy. But meanwhile, we can go ahead and get these things ready. So we're gonna take the egg and we're gonna beat it with a fork just to get it to where we can mix it in. And we're gonna go ahead and take the milk and add into it and the salt and beat these together. And we're gonna go ahead and add in the butter. And we're gonna work the flour into this. All right, friends, we're back. It's been about 15 minutes, and as you can see here, the yeast is nice and bubbly. We're gonna add it into the dough. Now that it's fully incorporated, we're just gonna work the dough together. And it is a little sticky, so we, we can add a little bit of extra flour if we need to. Typically up to about half a cup, you're safe. And once you get the dough to where you can work it, we're just gonna knead the dough into itself for several minutes. If you have a stand mixer, you can just let it go for three to five minutes until everything's formed together. But if you're working it by hand, just keep rolling it around and make sure you get all parts incorporated. And we're gonna work it for about a total of four minutes. All right, so now as you can see, I've been kneading the dough together and you can touch it and it's, it's a little sticky, but nothing comes off on your fingers. It's nice and clean and the bowl has almost cleaned itself now that it's worked all the way together. What we're gonna do here is we're just gonna take the ball of dough and we're gonna cover it with a dishcloth. We're gonna set it somewhere warm and we're gonna come back in about an hour and 20 minutes. It's been a while and our dough has doubled in size. We're gonna give a fair amount, but not an incredible amount of flour on the counter here. And then we're just gonna turn the dough out. So now, get it lightly coated in flour and we're gonna roll it out to about a 15 by nine rectangle. We have about half a cup of butter, a three quarter cup of sugar, and two tablespoons of cinnamon. So I'm just gonna mix the cinnamon and sugar together and brush on the butter and stick the cinnamon sugar to it. Now that we're coated in butter, we're just gonna go back and put a whole bunch of cinnamon sugar on there. So we're gonna start with the long side and we're gonna so gently roll it in together all the way up. And once we get back to this side, we're just gonna take it and go down through and pinch it together at the seam, all the way down. We're gonna try to form that dough together as one so that it doesn't try to unroll. I'm gonna divide this into three pieces and then I'm gonna divide those three into fives. That way they're nice and even. Now that you've cut your cinnamon rolls, we're just gonna place them on the baking tray. We're gonna leave about two inches in between them. Now that the cinnamon rolls are ready and portioned out on the trays, go ahead and cover them with dishcloths again and we're gonna let them hang out for another 45 minutes to, to rise yet again. So we've waited 45 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and uncover these. They've risen yet again, and they're starting to actually look like nice, delicious cinnamon rolls. We have the rest of our melted butter here, and we're just gonna brush it right over the top. Now we're ready to go into the oven. We have the oven preheated to 350 degrees. And we're gonna go ahead and place these in, and come back and check them out in about 30 minutes, or when they're golden brown. While the cinnamon rolls are in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and get the things together for the icing for the cinnamon rolls. We have four ounces of cream cheese, two ounces of butter, three tablespoons of milk, one cup of confectioner sugar, one half teaspoon of salt that's down here in the bottom, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And what we're gonna do to get started is we're gonna take the salt, the cream cheese, and the butter, and we're gonna put them together, and we're gonna beat them with an electric mixer until they're smooth. Once they're smooth, we're gonna go ahead and add in the vanilla extract and the confectioner's sugar. Once that's well incorporated, we're just gonna rake down the sides. Then we're gonna go ahead and add about half the milk to it to get it thinned out a little bit. 
If you'd like, you can go ahead and add in the rest of the milk as you see fit to get it thinned out enough. We want to make it so that we can spread it on top of the warm cinnamon rolls. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the rest of the remaining milk and give it another mix. There we have it. This is our icing. It has been 30 minutes and we're going to go ahead and pull these out. And as you can see, they've puffed up. They're nice and golden brown. And that, my friends, is how you make cinnamon rolls. So we're going to let these cool down for a little while and then we're going to come back and ice them while they're still warm, but not super hot. All right, friends, well, that wraps us up on the How to Make Cinnamon Rolls video. If you like the video, comment below and make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.